Tim's emotions running high, people. Oh my gosh! Look at this Samus statue. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it amazing? Welcome to episode 56 of the Late Night Gaming Show. I am joined with the lovely Samus. Um, how are you doing, Samus? She's doing pretty well. She's looking pretty good. Jodie, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Okay, we don't really need to worry about that because look at this. Look at how amazing this is. So we've just done an unboxing of this over on Nintendo Switch Daily, but Jodie, it gets a little bit better than this, doesn't it? Yeah. Do the thing. Do the thing. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'd spin it, but it's so heavy. I I, I don't want to do it, and uh, I don't I don't want to don't want to cause him any harm. Don't but oh my gosh, isn't it just the best thing? This will be joining us for the remainder of the episode because we don't really need to talk about anything else because there's nothing else to talk about. Everything else pales in comparison when you <laughs> see <laughs> how beautiful this thing is. So um, go and check the video out. Yes. Over on Nintendo Switch Daily, and you will have enjoyment. I know you're eagerly anticipating that video, aren't you? Definitely. It's got to be one of the most um, energy-consuming videos I've ever done because it just was so heavy. So many boxes. But so good. I'm actually looking forward to see how he got it out of the box. That'll be interesting <laughs> in itself. Let's just say I have to use my foot. So uh, <laughs> we'll enjoy that one later. But without further ado, we're going to jump into our first section, which is what we've been playing this week. <laughs> What you, what you been playing this week? Welcome back. It is time for what have we been playing this week, Jody? What have you been up to this week? So, I put down the gaming controller for the PlayStation. Okay. I've put the Switch to the side. Well, it's been on the side for weeks. I've just not touched it. And then, I've just been playing mobile games. Literally. Mobile yeah. games. So what this, has happened, Jody? I know, I know. I just thought, oh, give some mobile games. Normally I'm a bit like funny about mobile games, but I thought I'd give it a go. So I was playing on Pick Me Up. It's basically an Uber game. So what? You, basically the can, you've got to like drive to pick people up and then you've got to like not crash at any point. So you got to be like on the ball. <laughs> I just keep crashing. So it's quite impressive. Quite no good tips game. for Jody. No. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, yeah. Nobody's died though, have they? I don't think so. They just, <laughs> they just crashed into each other, and then you see the police just pull up behind you. It's like, you know, sorry. Um, I want mine just a tap game, so you just tap it and hold it oh, down okay. to how many speed, how fast you want it to go. But nice. Yeah. Um, and then I was playing color in the hole, so you got to move the hole around to get the certain colored squares into it. Um, and I was playing wood puzzle as well wood puzzle what has <laughs> happened to you jody what so, yeah. the heck happened so, to you so we've just been playing weird mobile games for a week fair enough <laughs> so how about you tim so um i've not had as much time i've been mainly at a wedding for the majority of the week for about three days i was away but um i managed to play a decent amount of assassin's creed on the switch so we'll talk a bit more about that later but i was enjoying that uh, and I played a bit of Team Sonic Racing too. So it's not been major busy, um, but it doesn't matter because that's just major. There's nothing week, else to it? do, is there? That's There's nothing life. else to do. Everything's everything. Everything else to me is we'll just get rid of everything else because it's all. Week. So yeah, bit of a quiet week, but but fun. It's good. But fun. Uh, but that's why the, the Switch is just so good because I wouldn't have had any time really to play anything. But you can just play little bits here and there, and that's why. I, that's why, that's why everything switch, because nothing else matters. Nothing else matters, clearly. So let's move on, we'll move into our next section, which is the news. It's time for some news, yeah. It's time for some news. Welcome back, it's time for the news uh, today, Jody. I'm sorry, I broke my four news rule. Yeah. We have got five news stories today. I'm not even going to apologise for it because it's the right thing to do. Go on when then. there's news, Jodie, there's news. That's, that's it's right. It's just isn't something it? we've got to do, innit? So, number one, there was a Pokemon press conference that happened while I was away. And I got the news when I woke up the following day after the wedding. Um, Jodie, some weird stuff's going on. Some weird stuff's going on. So, um, first they announced... 
um, po my Pokemon Home, something like that. And it's basically um, it's basically going to be a cloud-based service where you can bring your Pokemon from all your different Pokemon games together. So if you've got like a 3DS and you've got like Pokemon Bank, which is like pulls in all the Pokemon from like Pokemon Sun and Moon, um, Pokemon Red and Blue and Yellow, all that stuff, you can basically transfer all your Pokemon between everything. So you can get all your Pokemon off those games, you can get all your Pokemon off Pokemon Go, you can get your Pokemon off Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu and the new one that will be coming out, Sword and Shield. So basically like, you can basically bring all of your Pokemon into one place that you've caught from all the different games, which is pretty cool. But it'll probably have a subscription service, I would imagine, because yeah. Pokemon Bank had that. But it was only like 80p for a year or something, so... But now we're in 2019. Yeah, it'll be a bit more expensive than that one. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool. So if you wanted, so to me, um, when the new one comes out, I just transfer all my Pokemon from Red and Blue, and then I don't bother playing the rest of the games. That's all I care about. The starts. I mean, the the first 150. That's all that matters, isn't it? No one, no one likes the rest. Nope. Um, but then Jody, things got weird. So Jody, have you ever, you know, like Pokemon Go? You you know, you walk around. As you walk around, catch some Pokemon. Have you ever thought... I don't do that, but anyway, go on. Have you ever thought, if only I could catch Pokemon in my sleep? Have you ever wondered that? Mm -hmm. Just gone, I could just sleep and do nothing, but I'd like to sleep and catch Pokemon in my dreams. Have you ever wondered that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Count, you know, counting Mareeps jumping over the fence. Yeah, could imagine. Well, Jody, Do you, that most nights. Your dreams can come true. I'm going to take a break for a second here because she's not all the way on. <gasps> Get on there, Jo. A sacrifice. It's making me nervous, Jody. It's... There we go. Just got to look after. Uh, so, Jody, they actually announced something called Pokemon Sleep. Okay. It's so Pokemon Sleep. You remember the Pokemon Go Plus, the little, yeah. the little Pokeball pokey thing? And add a button, you press it to like do the stops. Well, it's a little, big circle like this. It's got a big button in the middle. So you can use it as that if you want to. So you can walk around, just press it. But Jodie, when you go to sleep, put it on the bed next to you. Nod off. And it will track your sleeping pattern and in some way reward you in the morning. For sleeping? Apparently so. Oh my goodness. So that sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how it's going to work. I have no idea what it's going to do for you, but apparently it's supposed to help improve your sleep. So, Pokemon. That's to help kids go to bed. <laughs> That's what that is. <laughs> so, there you go. Pokemon Sleep makes no sense. Uh, but there you go. And then there was a new Pokemon game, which I can't remember the name of. There's a new Pokemon game coming out on mobile phones, and it's basically bringing in all the characters from the different TV shows, and it's like, it's a little game. Will you do that? Pokemon Champions or something, something like that. I looked. They showed a very small amount of it, and it was. It looked okay. Oh, so okay. there you go. I'm always up for new Pokemon games. So who knows? There's Pokemon Quest. You loved a bit of Pokemon Quest, didn't you? Like the little blocks of little blocky Pokemon running around. Yeah, for like ten minutes. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Plenty more Pokemon stuff going on. So what do you think they're calling the Pokemon Sleep? Um, little thing so you got pokemon go plus what do you think that that device is called pokemon go to sleep <laughs> it would have been better jody because what they're calling this is pokemon go plus plus no why are you doing that that's just going to confuse people isn't it yeah it's like which one do you want the plus or the plus plus <laughs> but yours was better pokemon go to sleep <laughs> yeah so there you go uh moving on uh, Death Stranding, I noticed this morning, so yeah. this was Thursday, for this one we recorded. Um, Death Stranding, the one with the babies, all the weird stuff. It's got a release date. The release date is going to be November the 8th, which is a lot sooner than people are expecting. And Jodie, there is a collector's edition. And do you know what comes with the collector's edition? Is it a baby? A life-size baby. No! In a really? pod. Really? Life-size baby oh in a pod. Goodness. So uh, I woke up, saw it, and I was like, what? And then went to the game just to see it, and it sold out. So if you're it's looking to buy a baby in a pod, I'm afraid you can't because they're gone. 
So I don't know what to say about that. But they showed a bit more gameplay. Um, it 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 doesn't. Who knows what that what it's about? I still can't see. But they showed a bit of the combat. The combat looked a bit naff, if I'm honest. But um, the, the traversal, everything looks really cool. Are you excited about this one, Jody? You think going to buy it? You're not interested in babies. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I think most people are just intrigued to know what the heck is going on. Yeah, I mean, so. I'm happy for someone just to tell me the storyline. I'll be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be interesting anyway. Uh, next, moving on. So Mario Maker has been... Everyone's excited about it, apart from Jody, apparently. But everyone's excited about it. It looks really cool. It seems like they just they just nailed it. They did everything that they needed to do. Everything They fixed everything from the first one. And then they just randomly come out and go, oh, by the way, you can't play with your friends. So it has a bit where you can basically play each course, any oh, course yeah. you want. You can play it with other people. And it's like, so it's like a competition. You can rate. Like, it's fun. It's it's usually quite fun, that sort of thing. But they're basically going, yeah, you can't, you're, you're only allowed to play with random people. But why? But like, you know, if we meet up with our Switches, we can play if we're next to each other. We just can't play on the That's line together. Dumb. And the reason they gave was because it might mess... It basically will mess up the scoreboards. How? Why would that mess up the scoreboards? I don't know, Jody, but it's so <laughs> stupid. They need to sort... Like, this is Nintendo, right? They go all the way, and then right at the end, they just go, ah, oh, but we're not going to give you just... The, like When it comes to online, we're just not going to give you everything you wanted. I mean, I'm not that bothered, because I'm probably not going to play with people I know anyway. Because you 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 won't play it because you're like, it. a loser. Um... So I, I probably won't, probably won't do it anyway. Sorry, just start to leave it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I'm not overly bothered, but it is like for people who are obsessed with like playing with the mates online and stuff. It, I just don't get what they're thinking. Why? Because it's Nintendo, and this is an occurring thing that happens with everything. <laughs> it's super dumb, but there you go. Um, moving on, uh, The Witcher 3 is, like, this is one of those games that everybody wants on the Switch, but just doesn't seem to come. And then there was this rumour that went out there that Panic Button, who port a lot of big games like Doom, Wolfenstein, those sort of things. So they do, like, they make insane games work on the Switch. So I'm quite excited, and then somebody from Panic Button went, yeah, we're not working on it. But then a listing showed up on a retail website, Jody, and it said Witcher 3 coming to the Switch. Why did they lie? <laughs> Why are they lying to us? I don't know, but I feel like I feel like because so many people are just keep making up stuff, it'll just happen because they'll be like, let's just do it. It's terrible. It is terrible. I want it to happen, but we'll see. And in our last bit of news, Jody, you'll be more excited about this because um, Square Enix uh, have been they're going to be doing a press conference so they do like Final Fantasy those kind of games but for the longest time we've been waiting to hear about the Avengers project and they <gasps> are going to that. be showing stuff at E3 I know I've seen that this morning I got so excited so no one knows what this game is no one knows what it entails what it's going to be like but um, we know it's going to be shown at E3 now so that's exciting I'm so excited I feel like it was a strange like, they should have had the game ready to go, like, now. Because, like, why wouldn't you just piggyback off and game the movie? You know what I mean? It just makes sense. It would it? just make sense. So, maybe but... they're going to maybe they're gonna sort of bring it out towards the end of the year when maybe, like, the DVD and stuff comes out. Or the Blu-ray. Or you buy it on iTunes like me. I bought it on iTunes. You... Oh, yeah, you already bought it. Pretty hard. You're it? weirdo. <laughs> I, I made sure it was that first day. Oh dear. There should be a pre order bonus with a bit of pre order in it. What should you get? A picture of Thanos' face <laughs> or his chin? I wouldn't mind the poster actually. Oh, okay. You know, like the ones that they're having in the cinema. Or just the A on its own. Just the A. Just an A. That's it. Just the A, yeah. <laughs> Literally just a nice Roman time <clears throat> A just in the middle. Not mm-hmm. there, right? So I think that's really cool. I'm looking forward to that. But if you can't wait till then and you don't mind swapping over to DC for a while. Um, DC Universe Online is coming to Switch. It's been confirmed. So it's a big MMO, and it's supposed to be a really don't, good MMO. Don't be a traitor. <laughs> I'm not that into DC. To be fair, I think the characters are rubbish. They Sorry, are. but um, Wonder Woman's all right. She's probably the only one. She literally came in, 
Did you watch Batman vs Superman? And she literally came in and kicked kicked butt basically, and then went away again. It's just that's the only that she's the only. Decent it was one. just awful. It that that film was rubbish. <laughs> it's so bad. And then I saw um, the Justice League movie as well. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even it's just that. when you've experienced the Avengers, it's just. They're basically just, it's just they're just copying it. They're copying they tried it. and it working. didn't work out. It really isn't working. So they need to sort themselves out. Don't they? But it's supposed to be a really good um, online multiplayer game. Um, I have, I, th- I think I've played it briefly, but it is 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 pretty good. So if you need something superhero related, mm. that's a place. and there's no MMOs on really on the Switch, so there's one to jump in. That's true. So there you go. That is the news. No. No, what do you mean? Is the news you... that this is this is statues arrived? We've no. already gone through that, but I'm happy to talk about it a bit more. No, so some YouTube news that's gone been going around. So today, well, I think it was last night actually. We've had the series of PewDiePie, 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 Pew- PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> PewDiePie versus T Series right to 100 million. Yeah, and last night T Series hit. 100 million. Why would you share that on the show, Jordan? <laughs> Why would you share that devastating so, news? It is devastating. Is it, is it only like 5 million ahead as well? Yeah. It was getting crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. I th- I think it was because of the situation that happened, wasn't it? With the shooting. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I mean, I think a bit of I think a bit of him deciding to, to stop it was because I think he knew he'd lost anyway, so it was pointless. Yeah, but still. There you go. Just thought I'd update everyone on that. Guys are happy. Happy? Well. We need a moment of silence for PewDiePie right now. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, patriarch of YouTube. Well, there's a depressing note to finish on. And now we're going to move on to our next section, which is, what's, what's the point? What's the point in doing this Let's show? Let's go home. Let's just finish. <laughs> I'll, I'll just, I'll just so look after this time. statue. <laughs> Enjoy yourself and we'll see you later. <laughs> Let's move on to our next section, which is what is out this week. Can someone tell me what's out this week? Welcome back. It's time for what is out this week. And to move past that devastating news that Jody just shared, we're going to talk about what games are coming out this week. And Jody is going to let you know which one you should buy. So, number one, we have got um, the Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere expansion. So, that just went completely over my head. Elder Scrolls Online, big MMORPG on PC, Xbox One, PS4. Mm. Um, it's like Skyrim Online, basically. That's essentially what Skyrim. we're talking about. I thought that might make it easy for you to understand. Um, so, basically, this is their next big expansion coming out, but you okay. can get it on disc and everything and blah, blah, blah. But, um, I'm sad because they did a collector's edition every time they brought out a big expansion. And I didn't care about the other stuff that came with it, like the statues and crap, because it wasn't that that great. It was the books that it came with. The books were like insane. And then last year's book came, like it was like this small. It went way smaller. And now they've just not done one at all. So I'm upset about that. So you're not allowed to choose that as pick of the week because okay. there's the I wasn't going to pick that one. Um, well, you might do after we go through the rest of these games. Hmm. <laughs> so next, um, we've got Persona Q2, New Cinema Labyrinth on the 3DS. So the oh. 3DS is getting another new game. So Persona Q is supposed to be a pretty, pretty good game, but the, the normal Persona games is like, it's all about the relationships and you live a little life and you make friends and then you go into dungeons and kill, kill stuff. I think it's mainly, it's monsters really, not people. Dragon. I'm sure there's dragons involved, but I I haven't played since Persona Four, so I've just never played, so I don't know what's going on. It's a great game. Hours of hours and 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 hours of fun. Okay. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, moving on. I don't. I don't. By the way, I don't. I have never played a Persona Q game, so I I can't comment on that. So I don't know what that entails. But it's supposed to be really good. Uh, number three, we've got Warhammer Chaos Bane. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like. I mean, I know Warhammer is. It's probably an action action game you run around. Mm. Chop, chop, okay. chop up monsters and dwarves and elves and stuff. Okay. And then finally, we got Motor GP nineteen, which is motorbike racing <gasps> on tracks. 
So I'm Jody, what an amazing list to choose from. You've got Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere expansion, Persona Q2, New Cinema uh, Labyrinth, uh, Warhammer Chaos Bane, and Motor GP19. What a list. <sighs> We'll go with Warhammer. We'll go with Warhammer. We have no idea what that game is or what it entails, but Warhammer Crossbane is our pick of Just the week. Throw it out there. It's yeah. probably fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> and then you know what? You over there, Zenimax Online, you scumbags. If you'd done a collector's edition, you would have got pick of the week, so I hope you're proud of yourself. With that <laughs> note, we're going to move on to our next section, which is reviews of the week. Oh, it's time to get funky. The reviews of the week. Welcome back. It's time for reviews of the week, and I am going to do a very quick little review of Assassin's Creed 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Jody, have you ever played Assassin's Creed 3 on the Switch? No, Not on the Switch, Switch, but just in general. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, did you enjoy it? What, what was the game like when you played it originally? I thought it was pretty good. The storyline was quite fast going. It mm-hmm. was quite nice. Got to do stuff. That was like the crossover, wasn't it, between the boat and... Yeah, that's when the the boats came in the first time. That was probably like... Yeah. I really like that one. That's probably one of my... That is probably the top... In the top three of my... Of my Assassin's Creed games. A lot of people would disagree with you, but that's that's okay. I don't know. I think it's because they brought something new in at that point. Okay. That's why I was like, yeah, I can deal with this. Okay. So, um... I've played it a bit on... I think it was on the PS3 I played it a little bit. Um... So I'm I'm really coming into this fresh. I feel like playing it on the Switch. Um, it's all right. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> the the opening takes forever. But they always do with these. Not games. like this. This just goes on forever and ever and ever. And, and people agree, Jody. The people the the people have spoken. Don't wait. It just goes on forever. Like I have been playing for hours, and I still haven't got to the point where he's actually in a like become an assassin and is wearing the cloak i'm still not at that point it takes forever jody it goes on and on forever you play as a you play as a templar spoilers don't even care you play as a, te- a templar for literally about two and a half hours forever I, I mean it's like oh by the way spoilers again don't care oh it's the guy's dad basically hey. and then you basically hey. play as the other the, the kid it's not ruining it forever. you play as the kid and it takes forever. I but, know. But, no, but you literally start as him as a kid, and then he gets older, and then you got to play with him as a teenager. But it takes forever. I just want to be the dude. I want to go around, stab some people in the neck in a Christian way. <laughs> Did you ever play Rogue? Did I play Rogue? No. I mean, that was like the follow-on from that one. Before Black Flag. Well, yeah, it did. It came. Did it come out before Black Flag? Or... Yeah, At the same time? Yeah, it came out the same time, but it was only on PlayStation 3. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't play that one. Though. That's a bit sad. You should have played that. So, well, they, I think they did a remaster for the PS4, didn't they, in that? I don't know. Maybe. I, can't remember. I might have to jump on that. I mean, I've already Maybe. played it, so I wasn't bothered. If they put it on the Switch, I'd, I'd do it. But I don't. But, I'm, but anyway, I am, you, I'm I? pushing through. Go on. Um, and it, it's fine. It's, diff- it's hard to go back, though, once you've played things like Assassin's Creed Origin and things like that, because they just move forward so much and they'll never do a better Assassin's Creed than Black Flag never it's, it's impossible debatable. to do a better Assassin's Creed than debatable. that no best best one ever that's the one put that on the Switch I'll complete it ten times I will do it I've done, I've, I've done it twice and I'll do it again I will do it again so good what a game what but we're not here to talk about that we're not here to talk about that it's not about the, but it's just everything it's just it's just perfect so good Um, I felt that was the worst one <laughs> Come on, Samus. <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> um, yeah, it just it just takes too long to get going. But um, yeah, it, uh, the one thing that I found quite funny, they clearly hadn't worked out how to do wildlife yet because you'd be hunting, so you have to do a bit of hunting. All I wanted to do was hunt a rabbit, Jody. That's all I wanted to do. Done the little tutorial, fine. No rabbits showed up anywhere, and it was one of the goals. Like if you know, you can yeah, as like little bonus goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of them was like hunt three different animals. So you had to hunt basically like a little fox, a deer, and a rabbit. Rabbits just weren't there. Just just didn't show up. So like couldn't do that. But then right, it did Don't this thing where game, you're sneaking up on an animal, and boy, they like see you from like a mile away, like a mile away, like ridiculous. And what would happen is right, if an animal saw you. 
it just loses its mind and just runs <laughs> everywhere at like hyper speed and it's because there's like trees and everything it's like it just runs into the tree and then it's like getting confused because it's hit a tree so then it just turns around and just pegs it the other way but then what happens is it just runs and it'll hit another animal and then that animal will start running and it basically starts this chain reaction of just chaos just animals sprinting everywhere just literally so literally uh, that would happen and then i'd just jump in the tree and i'd be dead high up and i'd just be watching all these animals just sprinting in every direction literally jody i didn't even have to sneak up on any because all i did was i'd sit in the in the tree and i'd just wait for one of the animals to just sprint down this way and just jump down and kill it like that's all i had why to do why did you not just shoot the bow and i don't need to because they're just they're just sprinting round in every direction so i didn't need to use it because it just gone and land on it so it just it's just so dumb and it's the same with like humans as well like and they see you they just they're just sprinting everywhere it's just oh, i don't God. it's just like ai is not great in the game but um i'm enjoying the storyline it is what it is i'm just happy assassin's creed is on the switch um Good. and i'm enjoying it and of course it comes with assassin's creed liberation which was a originally a vita exclusive oh um, play liberation yeah so it was originally a vita ex- playstation vita game and then it got um like remastered for ps4 and all that and that's that comes in the package as well so you're actually getting two games with all the expansions in it so it nice. i think it's definitely worth 30 30 quid basically oh, which is what like it is 15 quid a game then isn't yeah it? um and it, it's good i'm enjoying it um it's one of those where it's like if it wasn't on the switch i just probably wouldn't have bothered well i haven't bothered up till now because it was already on ps4 and that um technically it looks good it runs well um graphically looks fine um yeah, the thing that annoys me the most though, this it, this is the worst thing about the game. I don't know why they did it. So when it's like it'll do like a two second loading screen between like cutscenes and stuff, or like if you're loading into a new area, it literally mm-hmm. like loads for about two seconds. But what the loading screen is, the loading screen is basically just a white screen. So literally, if you're watching a cutscene and it's like got like three or four cut scenes one after each other it just flashes in your face for two seconds like you just be playing and it just be white screen just blah you're like so if you're playing like in the dark or at night or something like that it literally blinds you because you just be playing like this and it's just like load 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 like that and it just and it happens all the time like literally all the time there's so many little two second load screens and it blinds you and it's so irritating it should have been a black screen and you would have been fine so I'm glad that that doesn't happen in other games, but it's so frustrating. So, Jody, Assassin's Creed 3 on the Switch. It's clearly rubbish. I wouldn't say it was rubbish. Okay. I am going to give it a 7.8. Oh, because I feel so. like it's a little bit better. That like 7.5, 7. I'm like, I feel like it's closer to an 8 okay. than it is to a 7. Okay. Um, and I think the values there, I think, get a lot of value in it. It's just because it is like, I mean, how old must that game be now? It must be like a good eight years eight or so. Yeah. Um, it's just it's showing its age a little bit now. But if you've never played it or you've only played like some of it, I think it's definitely worth. It. Or if you've not played Liberation, like it's worth a shout. Mm. And it's a uh, reason reasonable price. So there you go. That's Assassin's Creed go. on the Switch. And if you want to see animals, just go insane. It's a great pickup for that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and moving on, we're going to go into our final section, which is Topic of the Week. Topic of the Week. Welcome back. It is time for Topic of the Week. And the topic is how amazing is this Samus statue? I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm I should have done this in reviews of the week, shouldn't I? Ten, ten out of ten, that, innit? Ten out of ten. I did actually think that, like, this was, like, a really big scratch, and then I realised it actually... Yeah, yeah I want to know what... I am going to have to ask the question about that, because I've noticed it in the lighting. There's a lot. I, I think it's to do with the paint. Like, it's been... It's the brush marks. Mm. That's what I think, but I will ask the question. But there you go. You can't really... You're not going to notice that, really. No, no, no. But um, it's quite the... Uh, they're not cheap, so you want it no. to be perfect, don't you? Yeah, yeah I think it's pretty impressive, even yeah. being honest. So uh, that is not really the topic of the week. It should no. be, but it's not. So on the topic of Assassin's Creed, this is always a good conversation to have. Yeah. 
is it alright assassinating people in games? Straight up, Jody. Is it okay to jump from the top of a church and stab someone in the neck? Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do it in real life, would you? So, these bad people that you're stabbing... If they're not... If you, people, if you yeah. stab good people... It That's actually nice. goes like, it actually says like, desyncing your ancestors wouldn't have done this, things like that. So it punishes you it's if good. you do hurt the general public. So Jodie, is that alright? I want to point out in, uh, I think, one of the ones with Ezio in it, you stab the Pope. You straight up stab the Pope. I was going to say something then, but stop yourself. But the Pope's a bad man. Oh, he's like, he he's like manipulated. He's like guys. He's part, yeah, so he's like manipulated his way into that position, but yeah. he's still stabbing the Pope. Jody, is it okay? If he's naughty, what then, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Being naughty, <laughs> trying to take down an entire, like, trying to take over the world, you know what I mean? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, please don't Definitely don't encourage that kind <laughs> don't, of behaviour. Don't, don't stab anyone. <laughs> and don't say, Should you told us we could. <laughs> don't. Don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's right, but Jody, it's, it's one of your favourite games. Game, isn't it? so... It's a game. This is always a hard point in any sort of thing, like because we won't play like GTA because of the morals in the game. Mm. But yet we're still playing a game that's killing people. You know what I mean? But the morals are different, clearly. So it. So I think the there's game. a couple of things in this though. One is. It's a different time period, which I actually think is significant because I guess like the point is that you're more playing out history rather than, Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not actually like, it's based on historical events, but it's not actually, obviously it's not real. But um, I think that's a factor. And secondly, um, it's not like you're just going around stabbing randomers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It all fits in with a storyline that's a bigger picture, isn't it? So it's not what we're saying it's all right to stab people because it's not it's never okay to stab people. No. Um, but it's not it's not that simple with this game, is it? With Assassin's Creed. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a tricky one. It's always it a tricky one. It's always a, it's always a conversation when it comes to, to killing people. Yeah. But I mean, like, in 40 years, 50 years from now, when, like, the morals of the world have changed again, like, because that's clearly what's going to happen, um, would we say then, is GTA all right? Because it was past history. So that's the question that then you've got to ask yourself. That is the question you have to ask yourself. I... So what about a game like Total War, where you control whole armies and you try and kill them? That's what I'm saying. It's a difficult one, isn't it, Jodie? It is. It's a difficult one. These are the big questions you've got to ask yourself. Yeah, and that's where we're going to ask you, (laughs) are you okay assassinating the Pope? (laughs) In a game, not in real life again. No, we're not going to assassinate the Pope. We're not. We're not. (laughs) We hope nobody else does either. (laughs) We hope that no one's going to assassinate the Pope. And before we say anything else that's going to get us in trouble, we're going to leave it there. So, (laughs) (laughs) Um, well, I I don't know what else to say. We've had great news. We've had very good news. We've had bad news. I've had a child. Okay. And the child lights up. We've had bad news with PewDiePie. We've had good news with Sam Statue. I think all around it's been a What a great well, show we've had. Probably one of the best balanced. shows we've had. And we finished off with the Pope. So what else can we do? So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you absolutely hated it, give it a thumbs down. Don't judge us for how many times we've said the Pope. Um, <laughs> uh, and if you want to see loads more videos just like this every single week, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button. Ding, ding. You'll be notified of every new video going forward. So thanks for joining us. And I'm going to go and place this where it will stay for the remainder of my life. Hopefully not, because I don't want to live it for the rest of my life. Or do I? Find out next week on the Night Game Show. Bye.